Hey guys, it's Jason with uh, Kentucky Sustainable Living. Uh, <coughs> I hate to make a video like this, but it it's, probably won't be the last time if you're into any kind of farming or homestead you deal with this uh, and you've dealt with it before. But uh, Droopy, the little uh, lamb that got sick out of the set of triplets, we've been nursing her to back to health, trying to get her good. She had pneumonia uh, from aspirating on the bottle. And we've been, we had been tube feeding her uh, and getting her back up on a course of antibiotics and some other medicines. She seemed to be doing fine. Yesterday, she was outside walking around in the front yard, playing around. We were letting her get her exercise and that kind of stuff. This morning, uh, tube fed her. She seemed fine. Uh, this afternoon, I came home. Uh, my wife told me, she's like, you need to go check on her. I think she's passed away. Uh, unfortunately, Droopy didn't make it. She's no longer with us. Uh, she was a sweet little thing. It tears me up that, uh, that she didn't make it. We did everything we could. Took her to the vet, let the vet look at her. Antibiotics, some other medicine, tube feeding her four to five times a day. Uh, keeping her in the garage in a crate under a heat lamp and new shavings, all that stuff. Keeping her just warm as we could checking on her all the time but that's that's just one of the realizations you're gonna have to deal with with having livestock and on a homestead is uh not all your animals are gonna make it it's it's a sad fact of life but not everybody not all your animals are gonna make it uh and honestly your kids are gonna take it to worse probably uh my youngest one really uh didn't take it good i hated to tell him but he was gonna find out eventually so I told him he got to say goodbye to little Droopy, and now he's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, death on the homestead and the farm really sucks, honestly. Uh, and, and it kind of segues in. I, I was thinking about it as I was feeding everybody else. We're, we're in good times right now, uh, as good as they're going to get, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm thinking if we're in bad times and we really were relying on that lamb, to uh, grow it out and butcher it, to uh, feed my family what you would do, uh, we'd be in a pretty bad spot. That that just goes to show, even though you've got animals, you've got to take into account uh, the fact that you might have some death with it. So it's kind of the whole uh, two is one, one is none thing comes into play there. Luckily, we, we don't have to rely on that lamb to uh, put it in the freezer and, and, and eat and to stay alive. But in a real situation where you had to, you could be under the gun and be in, uh, be in a real bad spot right there. So that might be something for some people to think about. If you plan, oh, we need uh, three lambs for the year, you might want to have a backup plan and say, well, let's go ahead and plan on having four lambs uh, instead of just three, just, you know, just in case one of them does die. Uh, worst case scenario in good times right now, you could sell the lamb to somebody else. Same thing goes with your pigs or your chickens. If you're like, hey, we need 50 chickens uh, for this year to eat on, why not go ahead and get 60 chickens? Uh, have a 10%, uh, have 10 more than what you think you're gonna need. Worst case, they all make it and you put 10 extra chickens in. Other thing you could do is when the chickens are ready to butcher, sell 10 of them to somebody. Same thing goes with your pigs. If you're like, we need two pigs, maybe get three. Worst case, put the third one in the freezer or sell it uh, if you wind up not needing it and none of them die on you. But that's just something to think about. Uh, plan, plan for death on your homestead. Figure out what you're gonna do with it uh, and stuff like that. Uh, I hate to make a video like this and uh, I've got luckily I got some footage of her yesterday walking around in the grass that I'll put on uh, put on after this so sorry to make a doom and gloom video for you but it's just kind of part of homesteading I honestly I'm torn up about it I did shed a tear that uh, she would passed away because I planned on uh, keeping her as a replacement you after I'd put so much time in her. She was a sweet little thing. She'd just sit in your lap and you could just pet on her and rub on her and she'd just lay there for you and just happy as could be to be having some attention and loved on. So yes, I'm torn up about it. I might not seem like it, but I, inside it, it really hurts me. But uh, I'll put some video footage that I took yesterday of her walking around in the front yard. 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Share the video. Uh, help it get out. Thanks.